Oh, okay. That's what, that's what Karen said. She said, you received your security deposit when you bought the house. So there goes your rent payment right there. That's literally what she's. All right, so hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Rye. Y'all, so our new setting, we're just gonna say that the car is like our spot to record because it seems like I'm always in the car and uh, right now I just don't have anywhere else better to honestly record for you guys. So I'm just gonna record here. But welcome back. I miss you guys. As promised, I am getting back on my grind and I'm actually recording content and posting content for you guys. So here recently, I did put the video on how you can purchase a home as a travel nurse that is already up. And then make sure that you're on the lookout for my birthday vlog. I spent a whole like 10 days in Greece. We did some island hopping from Santorini to Mykonos to Tinos. And that trip was just honestly everything that I really needed for my 25th birthday. So be on the lookout for that. But this video right here, you guys, I don't even, I do know why. But I just want to tell you guys my story time of the tenant from hell. Like literally this lady has been giving me hell ever since I got the property. And it's just been like ridiculous. The reason today why I'm deciding to come to you guys with this story time y'all I had to file an eviction on the lady like I'm not even trying to play like I literally had to file an eviction because she refuses to pay her rent for reasons that are beyond me so I just wanted to give you guys a quick story time and let y'all know what's been going on with the home ownership slash landlord slash property management um and also too it's been decided I'm no longer managing properties after this because these are just issues that I do not have the time of day for, being that I do wear so many hats and I have so many other things to do that chasing behind somebody for rent is not on the list of priorities of things that I want to do with my time. So let's just start from the very beginning. And I'm sorry, y'all, I'm sitting in the car, so I am gonna have to turn the air on. I really hope that it's not a, a hindrance to what you can hear, um, but it's too hot to be sitting out here with no air. So let's just start from the beginning so i purchased this property a couple months ago and as soon as i signed the papers remember in that video where i told y'all like things started as soon as i signed the paperwork so as soon as i signed the paperwork the the previous property manager hands me a paper and they're like oh tenant a let's give her a nickname for this and i'm really gonna just call her karen because she gives karen vibes in all aspects of how she is so the previous property manager hands me a paper and he's like oh karen states that she's gonna be moving out she's given her 60 day notice um she doesn't want to continue renting so i said okay that's totally fine thank you for letting me know y'all so that was at the end of the month right that was like at the end of july so obviously rent's gonna come due august 1st so being that i am a new property manager and everything was switching over the tenants were used to paying their rent a certain way which i did not have that set up yet you know because everything's new so i told them that they could i sent out an email this is let me just start from the beginning so i sent out an email saying hey you know my name's mariah i'm gonna be the new landlord um if you have any questions or concerns just let me know and as far as paying your rent for the next month like we can either do a check we can do you know da 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 i gave them a couple options and i just said blank 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 or etc like essentially i said you can either pay by check you can do it electronic da 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 so and let's just also say there's a separate tenant, like there's more than one tenant, okay? Nobody else has had the issues that Karen has been giving me, okay? So let's start there. Let's not make it seem as though it's just like I'm giving her such a hard time. Nobody else has had issues except for Karen. So Karen starts responding to me after day one and she's like, hey, um, how am I supposed to pay my rent? And I already told them, I already told her how you can pay your rent. So next thing you know, she's calling me and she's just like, oh my goodness, well, my bank slash credit union, they wanted to send you an electronic check, but it's too late for us to get that mailed in time. So I was like, okay, no problem. You can go and deposit the money into this bank account. Next thing you know, she's calling me and she's like, oh my God, like your bank won't accept my cash. Like, what am I supposed to do? And so I called her and I was just like, you know, like you can get a money order or you can get, um, what's another thing? A money order or you could take a check and then the bank will deposit it into my account. And she's just like, oh my gosh, then I'm gonna have to pay for that money order. 
y'all a money order costs one dollar like barely i don't even know the exact price but it cannot cost more than one dollar and fifty cents so that's that was the start of you're gonna piss me off so then after that i was like okay well you could do it via zelle like if you want to do zelle and she was like oh my gosh i have to get home i have to have a drink first before i can try to get this all figured out so i'm like okay that's totally fine i i didn't respond to that like we're literally on a phone call and she's talking about oh i need to go have a drink before i can figure out how to work zelle um she was like today's been so emotional i've been so emotional because your bank won't accept my cash da, 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 da. so i was like all right cool like you just take your time figure that out and you come back to me when you have it figured out so days and days go by you know rent is due on the first so now we are on like the fifth slash the sixth okay and this lady is calling me talking about how i'm just making her life so difficult oh this is how i'm making her life difficult because after that situation she found out that her credit union does not do zelle which that doesn't mean i don't i'm not gonna get into the specifics because i don't know anything about her bank but she claims that she could not do zelle she claims that she could not do the electronic payment because it was too late she claims that she could not purchase a money order for one dollar so then the next thing was i just said you need to get a check like something like i can't accept cash and she was like well um, so I know where you work and we, we work similar places. Um, can I just meet you somewhere and you take this cash payment for the rent? And I respectfully told her no, because if the banks won't take your cash, why am I going to take your cash? And I'm not trying to give you a hard time. It's just the simple fact of there has to be a money. Like there has to be a trail of the money. Like I cannot accept cash. Who's to say that the cash that you give me is even real money. And then when I go try to turn it in, they're going to tell me I'm trying to give in fake money or something of that nature. So in order to just eliminate all of that, I just think it would have been safer for you to just submit a check or deposit it to the bank. So that's what I told her. I don't feel comfortable accepting cash. You just have to figure it out. So literally she was harassing me all day, calling me nonstop, texting me nonstop. I really want to post the messages up here because it was very inappropriate at how she was texting me, telling me that I'm being inconsiderate, telling me that I, my lack of communication is her problem, talking about like, oh, she's going to do this, she's going to do that. Okay. So long story short, she finally texted me on like the 5th or the 6th and she was like, oh, well, finally, she was like, I spent all day at work crying and telling everyone how my new landlord is making my life so hard. And one of my coworkers found pity on me and decided to give me a check and I just gave her the cash. And I was like, okay. So I really don't care how you got the check, but I just know that's the form of payment that I was gonna be willing to accept. So I went and picked up the check, I cashed it, that went through fine, okay? So then I had to pull up to the house like a week later to go pick some stuff up. And um, she looks at me when I went to go, actually it was when I went to pick up the check. She And I'm sorry y'all, cause I'm trying to recollect, this was like two months ago. So when I went to go pick up her check that her friends found pity on her and gave, she was like, I just wanna say I'm so sorry for how I was speaking to you. I just wanna apologize for all the messages that I was sending you, da 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 da. And y'all, I am i don't know for sure if I'm gonna attach them or not, so don't hold me to it. But every message that she sent, I saved documentation of it. Every time I walked up to the house and spoke to her, I recorded it. Everything has been recorded and documented because you're not about to play with me. So she was like, Oh, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have behaved like that. I really hope, you know, you can forgive me and we shouldn't have any problems going forward. And I just said, it's okay. And I got my money and I walked away because I'm not a therapist and I don't have any more time outside of collecting the check. So you can deal with your own problems and your emotions on your own time. I walked away, collected the money. That was fine. All right. So everything is all is well until the following month comes up. So now let's fast forward to the month of September. Okay. So we clearly know how the rent had to get paid last week, right? Last month, right? We, we know what it took to get the rent paid. Why is it now September? And we, I send them an email, both tenants, you know, again, like, hey, it's a reminder, rent's due, da, da, da. Here's the options, how you can pay it. She responds on August 30th. And she says, I sent the mail, I sent the check to your address. Because I gave them a mailing address. Like if you wanted to pay, you know, by check, da, da, da. She was like, I sent the check to your mailing address. That was on August 30th. I said, okay. September 1st through the 5th, y'all, that check was not there. Like literally the check was not there for five whole days. So I went to the 
property because I had to pick up rent from the other tenants. I picked up the rent and she's out on the porch with her whoever significant other smoking on the porch smoking cigarettes like that just really bothers me I'm not even gonna get into that so she's sitting on the porch Karen smoking her cigarettes and I go to collect rent from the other property uh, person and she looks over and she's like are you Mariah girl don't play with me you know that I'm Mariah you've been looking me up on the internet you've talked to me multiple times you've seen me in person multiple times why are you trying to act as though you don't know who I am because who else would be coming to collect rent from somebody like don't play stupid. I don't like when people do that. So I walk up to that, she's like, are you Mariah? And I was like, yeah, how can I help you? And she's like, oh, um, she's trying to pull up on her phone. She was like, um, I, did you receive my check? No, I haven't, it's not there. This is at the end of the day on September 5th. She was like, um, well, I see on here that it says that it's been mailed. You should be receiving it soon, da 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 da. I said, okay, that's fine. And I literally got the other people's checks and I got in my car, right? Here comes the six. Today is now the six, and I still have not received her payment. So I kindly sent her an email just letting her know, hey, like, you know, your rent payment has not been received. I know we talked yesterday and you said that it was on the way, but as for right now, I don't have it. So I am gonna have to charge you the late fees. Um, if I do receive the check and I can check the timestamp stating that it was sent, you know, when it was supposed to be sent, then I will excuse all late fees. Like, right? That's appropriate. I wasn't trying to be a B word. It's just a simple fact of this is the leasing agreement that you signed. You said you would pay your rent between the first and the fifth and you signed saying that if you did not, that you would pay these late fees. So I'm just enforcing what you signed. Y'all, here comes the seventh and, and per the lease, if you don't pay it by the fifth, there's one late fee. If you don't pay it by the seventh, there's an additional late fee. So here comes the seventh. I still have not received her money and y'all know I had to go out of the country to go to Greece. So that's important, right? That I then left the country. So. Here comes the seventh. I still don't have her check. I send her an email just letting her know what the late fees are. And so then I get on the plane and I'm leaving. So she starts sending me so many emails talking about, oh, like, no, my bank sent the, um, my bank sent the payment. Like, I don't know why you haven't received it. Can you check your PO box again? Like, check it again, check it again. Y'all going to check that thing every single day up until saturday and i don't even know what the correct date is but we can look on the freaking calendar it was either september 10th or september 11th up until that saturday checking it every single day and it was not there so you're lying like what bank sends out stuff and it does not get to the person it's supposed to get to so then she was like okay um i'm gonna contact my bank and ask them if they can um send like proof that i paid it so next thing you know she's emailing me showing me like a uh, her bank account showing that the money was taken out of her account for the payment, but I don't know who it was wired to. Does that make sense? Like I can see that the rent amount was taken out, but I don't know who the money went to or how it was processed and it didn't come to me. So next she was like, okay, here's a letter from my bank. Now y'all, I'm not trying to like, like, I don't want to call someone a liar. I don't want to claim that someone is forging documents but the document that I received that was supposed to be proof from your bank that you paid me, it did not have a bank emblem on it. The timestamp on the letter was 541 PM. Banks close at five. And third of all, the name at the end of the letter, you know how most people will do first initial, last full name. It was a first full name and a last name initial. Like there was no real last name. So how am I supposed to even check who the full name of this person that sent this letter. And on the top of the letter, it had an Ohio address. We're based in freaking South Carolina. Why does your South Carolina credit union have a freaking Ohio address at the top of the paper, but then the fax number is a, is a South Carolina fax number? All right, y'all, so first of all, my phone just cut off and as you can see right now, I'm really hoping and praying that the first 15 minutes that I recorded actually saved. But my phone I know is out of storage, so it's probably due to that, that stuff is messing up. Anyways, I wanna finish this story time. So I'm now on my other phone, but y'all just give me a second. Let me figure this junk out really quick. Okay, now that I confirmed that the actual video is saved, now I can continue with the story. 
Okay, so I don't want to say that the lady forged documents, but from what I can see, it very much seems like she forged a letter stating that her payment was sent, it was not received. Also in the letter, what I didn't understand was why would a bank, it said like, oh, um, on behalf of Karen, um, she did submit payment, so please excuse all late fees and thank you for your consideration and thank you for your cooperation. First of all, what bank is gonna say that I have to excuse late fees being that they did not get the check to my my mailing address. Like what? Most of the time uh, a bank would pay the late fees for you, lady. Like if you bank with somebody and there's late fees accrued based on the fact that they had something messed up in their system, they would be responsible for the late fees, not I have to excuse them. Like what sense does that make? So anyways, I kindly told her, honestly, I didn't even respond to the proof. Like. I, you know, I said documentation received, but I didn't like give my opinion on it to let her know that I believe that it's forged. Um, so next thing you know, I just stopped responding. At this point, I'm on vacation. At this point, the bill has already been paid for the month. Like, I don't know if people know, but like mortgage, the payment was due on the first for me. Like I already paid it in full. So it really doesn't even matter what you have or have not paid at this point. It's just the principal. But don't think that I needed your money to make the payment. So everything was already paid and I'm on vacation. So at this point, it's past the first through the fifth. It's now like the 10th and the 12th and all these dates. So there's no reason for me to keep having to respond to you about foolishness. So then she started emailing me multiple times, like you're not being cooperative and I'm trying to figure out, do I need to cancel the check, da 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 da. And I had already told the lady to cancel the check and seek an alternative form of payment. After the fifth, when the fifth, when I sent that first notice, I let her know like, you can go ahead and like seek another form of payment because like I haven't received it and there's nothing more for me to do. I can't keep driving out there every single day to check a mailbox and it's not there every single day of the month like so she was offended by that which you know was fine i just stopped responding so just to make sure we're clear uh i gave her the email notice on the 5th and the 7th and then i left for vacation still checking the box and it was not there um so now we are on like the week of the 11th which was my birthday week and she just kept emailing me saying that she was gonna be calling the bank. She was trying to get it figured out. She didn't know what was going on, da da da, da which was fine, right? So I returned back to the States on the 16th of September. So I sent out an email on that Monday morning just saying, hey, like, you know, your rent payment still has not been received. This is your total balance, including the late fees plus your rent. Um, and y'all, she went off. She emailed me back saying, um, I will not be paying these late fees um i'm trying to call you you're not answering so i checked my phone y'all know my phone stays on do not disturb let's start there so i checked my phone and she had called me multiple times so i called her back and i oh, sorry i just said her name i said hey karen hey karen like what's up how can i help you and she was like i got your email da -da -da -da. did you not receive my documentation from my bank and i said yeah i received it you know but the late fees do still apply it's now the 17th and i still have not received your rent and she was like, well, I'm not paying those late fees and you should have received a security deposit when you purchased the home. So there goes your rent money right there. Oh, okay. That's, that's what Karen said. She said, you received your security deposit when you bought the house. So there goes your rent payment right there. That's yeah, so literally, said, okay, that's a whole bet. That's a whole bet. So then she was like, well, when do, when can I turn in the keys since you're so hard to get up in contact with? When can I turn in the keys and when will you be doing the walkthrough of the property? So in my head, I didn't say this out loud, but in my head, it doesn't matter when I'm doing the walkthrough to assess damages to the property because you haven't even paid your rent. So the security deposit is already gone. And then next thing on the list is you're not getting any money back. So I don't even understand why you need to know what day and time I'm doing a walkthrough of my property that I pay bills on. So literally I was on the phone with her and I was like, okay, you know, like I hear you, that's totally fine. Um, you can, I'll be sending you email instructions on how you can turn your keys in on the day of move out and et cetera, et cetera. She was like, um, yeah, and I'm gonna be taking you to court. Girl, shut up, like literally shut up. 
because at the end of the day, you can't even afford a money order for $1.50. At the end of the day, you can't even afford late fees on your late rent payment. So there is no way in God's green earth that you can afford a lawyer or that you can afford court fees because how in the heck, just answer me this, how can you afford court fees and a lawyer, but you can't pay your rent and you can't pay the late fees on your rent? In what case do you have? Why do you like wasting taxpayers' dollars? Why do you like wasting people's time? You're gonna go to court when you don't even have a case? You're mad at the landlord because you didn't wanna pay your rent? Girl, you have your life messed up. It's a sense of entitlement that I just don't even understand. How are you mad at me for filing a late fee because you have not paid your rent and it's now September 20th? Girl, get out of here and talking about you're gonna take me to court? That's where you fucked up. That's literally right there. That's where you fucked up because I was gonna bite the bullet, right? <laughs> right? I was gonna bite the bullet and let you stay there until your lease was up. I was gonna bite the bullet and just take my losses on the late fees. I was gonna bite the bullet and just let you go on about your business. But since you wanna play games, girl, we can both play games. So now I had to file for an eviction because at this point, per your lease and agreement, I can file for an eviction being that you have not paid your rent and you're still occupying my space. I don't have to pay for you to live every month. So you can just take your stuff, pack up and go. Like there's nothing more for us to talk about. So y'all, when she gets served this notice, Y'all know she's gonna go crazy. You know she's gonna go crazy. But I really don't even care. And this is just like a little story time. Um, it really did have me not distressed, but it did have me a little bit sad because I genuinely feel that the reason that Karen was acting this way, and I'm not even trying to joke you guys. I genuinely feel that the reason Karen was being this way is because I am a young African-American female because she had no problem paying her rent to the Caucasian property managers all of these months prior that's just my observation you had no problem paying them year after year on time but now that it's a young black person that owns this building now all of a sudden you have all of these problems with paying rent and now all of a sudden you feel as though i'm on your level to harass me i have never in my life seen a tenant harass a landlord like did you forget what positions that we both are playing in this situation I don't have to do anything. Like, I don't have to do anything. You're occupying my space and you're under a lease. That's what I have to do. I have to abide by the lease that you signed, but you don't get to tell me what I have to do. You don't get to tell me I have to answer this or I have to respond to this or I have to be here at this time. That is not within your power, little lady. So you can say you're gonna take me to court. You can say whatever you need to say, but at the end of the day, the bill is due and it has not been paid so you can pay the consequences because I feel like there's just a little bit of entitlement and I don't know, like, it's not a good look. It's not a good look. But regardless, she's gonna learn today. Like, literally, I put that Yama Van Zandt, that little gif where she said, not on my watch. Like, that's seriously how I was feeling. Like, you're not gonna play these games with me. Not today, not ever. So, you're gonna get evicted. And another reason that I decided to do the eviction, and don't just think like I just went to the extreme, y'all, because at first I really was gonna let her live without the eviction. But when I spoke to my realtor, you know, he was just like, it's really not fair that she cannot pay her rent and then go on about her business and continue renting from other people with no history that this is what she does. So he was like, I honestly would just file for an eviction just so that it shows on her record. This is what she likes to do. And that's how she likes to play ball. So I just took the advice that was given to me and I just did it. Um, but now I feel a little bit better because I do feel a little sense of protection because it's not fair that she can just not pay her rent and then still occupy my space and then still also disrespect me and harass me. That's not fair. So that's the route that I decided to handle that situation. Y'all, if y'all own properties, if y'all are landlords and have to deal with people not paying their rent or people harassing you, let me know what y'all decided to do about that situation. Because for me, what I decided is I'm no longer gonna be doing the property management. I now have found a company and I'm just gonna pay them every single month to manage the property for me so that they can deal with the tenants and they can collect rent and that it's something that I don't have to deal with personally because I gave it a try for these first couple months. I genuinely have given it a try, but it's just at a point where I just feel like it's too much. Like I have so many other things going on and I just don't wanna take on that responsibility of having to deal with that close of contact with tenants, you know? so. Y'all, I hope that y'all got a little giggle out of that. 
or you know some some little entertainment because it really wasn't funny going through the experience but now that it's over and she's leaving now i'm just like i feel such a weight lifted off my shoulder and i'm so happy that i took the time today to go and get all that stuff handled because it really was bothering me but i'm gonna stop here that is the end of the story time of my tenant from hell and how karens can feel entitled to things in life and how um sometimes you just have to play what they play back with them you know i can't be the nice guy all the time and just take 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 all of this verbal abuse and harassment at some point i'm gonna stand up for myself and i'm gonna do something back so this was me taking my action the legal route the way that i'm supposed to handle it and we'll just see what happens you know stay tuned because maybe there might be some some court cases that y'all might have to get the inside scoop on but i'm really hoping that it just ends and it's done with because really you have no case like what are you, what are you gonna say like but anyways you guys make sure that if you have not done so already that you like comment and subscribe and be on the lookout for videos coming soon i'm gonna start doing book reviews because y'all know that i've been reading a crap ton of books so i'm gonna start like doing little reviews where i tell you guys about the book that i read what's the rating that i would give it and if it's something that i would like want to read again in the future because a lot of people have been interested in the books that i'm reading and a lot of people have been asking me for like recommendations on books so i'm just gonna add this little tidbit into my youtube channel but you guys thank you guys so much to all my supporters that have been so loyal and so you know supporting of me and everything that i do in my life i really do appreciate it and i will be back you guys soon with another video bye